It's a lot of twists. Oh my god. You, do, am I gonna have to grab them? Holy frick. What is up, ladies and gentlemen? Welcome back to another episode of Humbug Outdoors Fishing. It's your boy C. Smith here, and today we are out at a, a local pond. It is December 9th, I think, or 8th. I don't know, it's one of the two. We're gonna do some winter finesse fishing. So I actually didn't bring any Senkos. I didn't bring much. I just bring drop shots, jigs, and a couple key finesse lures that I really like to throw in the winter time. So I'm gonna kind of go through and break some of them down and how I'm fishing them and uh, see if we can get some fish today. Uh, here with my buddy, Zane. We got, I only bring my one setup right now. It's my uh, 13 fishing Omen Black and my Shimano Stratic. What do you got here? Shimano Salus, and then I got a G Loomis. All right, okay. All right, so we're gonna get some fish. So chest cam is going on in now. This isn't sketchy at all. You got a hot goose bite today, guys. You can see the dead goose, you fish around it, some structure, catch some giants. Nice. What was that on? A robo worm. Robo? God, that was fast. And was it drop shot? No, just next to string with a little bullet weight. That fought hard for a little winter bass. So just a Texas rig robo worm. Oh, a little, okay, well, gotcha, all right. Well, okay. I'm gonna get out there, because usually those fish like that, they're in schools. Stand up or, or are we gonna tip it? Got him. Ooh, better one too. Here, bring him here. It's easy on him. Bring him in and all. Oh, that's a yeah, <laughs> that's a three. Nice, same. See, guys, we have this little Thule line right here. And my buddy just flipped that jig in there. That is a thick, thick fish right there. I could tell when you set the hook, I was a better fish. Thule line. Got one, too. Oh, that's a thick fish. There's mine. Ooh. Oh, mine's another good one. Oh, really? Oh, yeah. God, so much fun on light gear. Oh, look at how chunky that one is. That. That's a chunky. Chunky, chunky fish right there. Oh, so we kind of have a little bit different of a uh, presentation. Did you release yours already? Yeah. I okay, so he's using like a watermelon finesse jig, and I'm going with a little KVD Dream Shot, but we're kind of both doing the same thing. We're both pitching in really close to this Thule line right here and just kind of looking for those fish that are ambushing prey right along that big, you know, that you see that big line right here. So this is a great, great little spot. Um, in wintertime, you really have to evaluate and look at a spot like this and just, I mean, you have to fish stuff like this in the winter because this is where the fish are gonna be at. And a jig and a drop shot is a great way to pull them out and get them. And uh, that's a pretty little fish right there. For a while, the fish in this pond were really, really skinny, but uh, today they are fat and happy. So, all right, peace, little dude. Dude, that, that's, that's, that's like... So I open my bale and I canoe it out and I'll go boop, drop it, and then canoe back. There you go. Is that it? I don't know. I can't. It's not fighting very hard. It's just kind of dead weight. It's a lot of twists. Oh my god. You, do, am I going to have to grab them? Holy frick. Oh, 
Oh. Oh. I think I can get him. I almost ran a net too. Oh frick. Oh baby. Oh my god. My goodness, ladies and gents. Weigh that fish, Casey. Yeah, I'ma weigh him. 4.21, baby. Alright guys, so a little drop shot. Oh. Nice. Fat winter largemouth right there. Look at that thing, baby. Alrighty, guys, let's get this thing back in the water. Peace, buddy. Oh, what a release. That. That. I, I'm i not, sometimes I'm not the biggest fan of bass fishing, but that right there makes me a fan. Alright, let's go get some more. Oh, right as they say it's slow. That's a good one. Yeah, hard head. head. Oh. Oh, baby. Good one. Good one. Good one. Come here. Come here. Come here. Oh, baby. Casey Smith comes back. <laughs> Look at that, and every single one is the same. It's that top corner of the mouth. So they're just, they're chomp. When they want this thing, when we're finding the fish, yeah. they're they're chomping it. Anyway, there is a pretty, pretty little largy right there. Let's get him back. That's like number four, I think for me. One more and I got my limit. There it goes. Once again, just dead weight. Ooh. Fish is pulling up. Another good one. Ooh. Oh, I, this one's, I'm gonna take the lead definitely by this one. No, oh, come here. Oh, look how he's hooked. Ready? That fish has got a lot of marks on them, but oh my god, they're they're slaughtering the drop shot today. And they fight so hard for winter fishing here. All right, buddy. Peace. I'd be really curious to see if I'm we. I'm really just gonna put it away, Casey. Oh really? You couldn't put it away because I just did. What is it? No, is it a crappie? Crappie, crappie. Oh, <laughs> put it away. All right, guys, I don't know if you could tell, but at the end here, we've having a little competition. I, that's why you could see the intensity kind of go up a bit. And uh, looks like I just put it away. I thought it was a crappie. I will completely, completely take that too. Look at him, fat, chunky little fish. Where are you, Flare? Peace, dog. Flare for Oh, a little cold, eh? Yeah. Oh, alrighty. So that's gonna do it for the video. Um, hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, make sure to give it a like, comment, subscribe, share, do all that stuff you're supposed to do for a YouTube video. And yeah, I thought today went out. I thought today turned out pretty, uh, pretty dang well. We caught a lot of solid quality fish. Being like December what eighth or ninth. That's pretty good for a pond like this because fish just kind of shut down at this time of year. But we were able to um, fill out a decent uh, decent bag today. We probably had like 15, 16 pounds for five fish. So that's that's a that's a good day. Um, yeah, I will put a link uh, in the description to all the gear I used. I have all, everything you know everything down there. So in case you guys are wondering about anything, even my other rod I was using that I didn't catch any on. Um, yeah, so we will see you guys next time on Humbug Outdoors Fishing. Yee! <laughs>